Hey y'all, um, I just wanted to pop in real quick to simply let you guys know that Jesus loves you, okay? Jesus loves you. Um, I feel like the Holy Spirit is needing me to say this to you guys because a lot of people are dying physical deaths. Um, leaving the earth, like leaving the world without having a relationship with Jesus. People are dying without having a relationship with Jesus. So that means that their soul will spend eternity in hell. And it doesn't have to be that way, right? It doesn't have to be that way. Jesus died on the cross for your sins so that you could have life and life more abundantly. John 3.16 says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Jesus didn't come to condemn the world but he came to save the world. So y'all, we don't have to we don't have to die void of Jesus and then enter into eternal damnation. All you have to do is believe in him. All you have to do is believe in him and accept that he died on the cross for your sins. And you won't perish. The word says that you will not perish, but you will have eternal life. And I feel like the Holy Spirit is leading me to tell you guys that Jesus loves you. He loves you. I also feel like the Lord is telling me to let you guys know that God will never leave you nor forsake you. Okay? He will never leave you nor forsake you. I don't care how far away he feels. I don't care how how distant God feels from you. You got to know that your feelings are fleeting and they lie. The word of God, God himself says that he will never leave you nor forsake you. All right. So that's my message to you. What? Jesus loves you. He loved you so much that he died. He laid down his life so that you could have life eternally and that God will never leave you nor forsake you. If anybody is watching this video and you're not even sure what to do with this information, you feel a pull from the Lord. You feel deep down that you want a relationship with Jesus, but you don't know how to establish that. All you have to do is confess with your mouth. First of all, acknowledge that you are a sinner. We all are every day of our lives, right? But the good thing about it is that when you confess your sins to the Lord, he is sure to forgive you and cleanse you of all unrighteousness, okay? So if you want a relationship with God, if you want a relationship with Jesus, if you want to accept him into your life as your Lord, and Savior. All you got to do is confess your sins, right? And then confess with your mouth that you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and that God raised him from the dead three days later. So the word says that if you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart, then you shall be saved. I don't know. That was like a paraphrase of that scripture, but it's that's it you know what i mean like in a nutshell if you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart that the lord has raised jesus from the dead then you shall be saved so i'm gonna get off now because i feel like i'm rambling and yeah dm me inbox me if y'all have any questions or y'all just want to give your life to god give your life to jesus but you're just not sure what to do and i Try to walk you through it. All right. I love y'all. Deuces.